Hi, welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips, guys. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the 13-inch new MacBook Air from Apple. Now, right off the bat, guys, please, you know, subscribe to my channel, like the video if you like it, and ask your questions down below or on Facebook or Twitter if you have any questions about the MacBook Air or any other products. Anyways, this is the new MacBook Air from Apple. Uh, it features a 4 gigabyte memory, uh, 128 gigabytes of flash storage rather than the old um, 64 gigabytes so that's a good improvement there and it's of course running the newest OS X mountain lion and it features the new fourth generation Intel HD graphics card with the Haswell processor um, which gives it an incredible uh, 12 ba uh, 12 hours of battery life which is okay it, it might not seem incredible to you but considering that the old one I think had like eight hours of battery life or something like that it's pretty good you know I think it's a 71 percent increase of battery life so that's pretty nice and it has a 720p um, uh, front, front facing eight FaceTime camera they call it because it's for FaceTime yeah so the main thing to remember with this one is that it is um, the the big difference with this one from the old Mac Air is that it has the new Haswell Intel uh, fourth generation processor which makes it a lot faster and gives it the good battery life and gives it better graphics so yeah you've you're either thinking about buying this product or you know just checking it out or maybe you've already bought it and you just want to see and you're waiting for it to come and trying to ease the pain and wait or whatever but this is how it comes it com well it comes with a shrink wrap of course because it is an apple product and they shrink wrap everything but other than that you know it's a box white of course it's apple you know has the side there MacBook Air on the sides, Apple logos shiny on those sides, and then on the bottom it has like all like the little, I don't even know what it is, I honestly have never read it, it has all that stuff, if you ever want to read it, pause the video or look at it on your own, just some notes on it I guess, yeah, so um, the MacBook Air is available in 13 or 11 inch, I, I think the 13 inch is the right size the 11 inch I think is way too small personally but that's my opinion maybe you like it it is kind of like a netbook then if you get the 11 inch model and so immediately you open it up it looks very nice you have the Mac Air right there shiny of course chromey finish Apple is known for it pops out now it's not much thinner than the old one it's basically the same but yeah I'll set it aside for now while I get to the rest of the stuff um, here, of course, you get your power cord, white, nice, you know, a little thin there, maybe that could be prone to some breakage, I don't know, but I like, this is really a nice small charging dock, I mean, not dock, like plug-in thing, and you can get a lengthener, I know, to plug in here if you need a longer cord, that pops out, and uh, yeah, it's, it looks pretty nice, you know, just nothing, nothing new, really, keeping it the same old, same old, but when you're the largest company in the world or one of the largest companies in the world that you don't really have to change that much I mean you do eventually but uh, anyways I always go into rants on my videos about stuff here um, you get your instruction manual or quick start guide I imagine hello MacBook Air you get stickers stick them to your forehead stick them to wherever car here I don't know I see them in the, people put them in the weirdest places each person has their own place that they like to put them I've seen them cars lunch boxes water bottles um yeah like sports equipment they stick it to like bat baseball bats yeah anyways so now we'll get to the actual macbook air itself comes in the um plastic wrap again some writing that no one reads important please read the software license agreement huh, okay and yeah so then you take the little thing off here and pull it across the bottom and then your MacBook Air is no longer fingerprint free. And there starts the eternal battle that you'll have for the rest of the time that you own this product of trying to keep it fingerprint free. But yeah, anyways, that's just my OCD-ness there. It looks and feels pretty nice, you know. It's a Mac product. They do have a certain, um, like, you know, you know you're getting a certain value of a product when you order a, a product made by Apple. Um, yeah, it looks pretty thin, guys. Here I have a Apple like Magic Trackpad to compare it to. 
you can see pretty much the same thin thickness maybe not at this end down here yeah there it's a little different see slight difference but still at this end though they're pretty much equal so yeah other than that you know it's it's a macbook air you know i i mean you probably go try one out definitely in a um in your store here they, they have a little screen protector thing that pops off it is white here which i think is a new addition i think it used to be black and now they made it white which i kind of like i think it's cooler it's nice and but yeah try it out in your store you know see if you like the mac pro or in the mac air it feels wicked thin like if you, if you feel down here, like it almost feels like you could just snap it. And you probably could snap it, but I doubt many people want to do that other than the people trying to get a ton of views on YouTube and have a lot of money. But yeah, um, you know, there's it open. You know, it looks pretty nice, guys. I'm not going to turn it on this video, but I will have some boot up tests probably comparing it to other computers. And yeah, I don't know. There's, if you have questions, leave them down below, you know. Um, it does have very limited ports, I think, because here you can see it has a charger, uh, USB headphones, your SD card USB, and Thunderbolt out. So it's pretty limited. You will get some more ports, I think, if you go with the Mac Pro or Mac Pro Retina uh, rather than going with the, um, the Mac Air. But, you know, if you really need something that's thin to... This thing is, you can put it in any bag. Well, that, that will fit it. I mean, it will just slide right in. It's like a magazine, basically. You know, it feels, doesn't feel too light. Uh, you know, the 11-inch feels, for me, way too small and uh, just like an um, iPad with a keyboard. So that's why I wouldn't go for that one. But if you like that size, you know, go for it. Um, yeah, so that's about it, guys. You know, you can see everything here. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them down below. Um, comments. Or just, you know, some constructive criticism on my video style. I always like to get better. So, yeah. Also, like the video. Subscribe. And look at my other videos. I have a lot of other videos. I'm looking to get more out. And if you want, check out my music channel. I guess I'm going to take the chance to plug it. I'll have all the links down below. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video. Um, yeah, I hope you wish the, you the best of luck in the future with your Mac Air or Mac Pro or whatever you buy if you go HP. So thank you for watching, guys, and that's about it. Peace out. Have a nice day.